See, nothing wrong with money. You know what's wrong with money? The love of money is the problem. The love of money is the root of all sorts of evil. Some, by longing for it, have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. You know, I have members from CCF. They're politicians. I praise God. We need godly politicians. One of them came to see me. Pastor Peter, should I run for governor? Should I run for congressman? Why not? But let me ask you a question. Are you willing to lose your job? Are you willing to lose the support of your party? If you are, if you are going to be honest. Are you willing to lose your job by following Jesus in politics? You know what he tells me? Yes, I'm willing. Then I said, go, run. Praise God. That guy won unopposed. But he knows his God. His God is not position. His God is not political party. His God is the Lord. Until you are willing to let go of something, you cannot say that thing is not your God. For some people, it is relationship. For some people, it is your job. For some people, it is your family. It has become number one. For some people, it's ministry. Do you know something good can become something bad? If you make it your God. So the Bible tells us the love of money is the problem. It's not money. No wonder. He's not saying you must sell everything. No, no, no. Look at what the Bible has to do with rich people. Everybody read this together. Instruct those who are rich in this present world not to be conceited or to fix their hope on the uncertainty of riches but on God. Just because you are rich does not mean you have to sell all in order to go to heaven. That's not the way. But make sure it's not your God who richly supplies us with all things to enjoy. Nothing wrong with enjoying your wealth provided it is not our God. Are we communicating? Therefore, instruct them to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share. In other words, the blessing of giving. Giving is what? Blessing. It rebuilds your heart. If you are very tight with money, perhaps money is your God. People think only rich people worship money. It is not true. I know poor people, that's all they think about. Money, money, money. And I know many rich people, they love the Lord. They are very generous. It is not the amount of money. It's your attitude toward the money. What's the message today? Giving is blessing. He who provides for this life, but takes not care for eternity, is wise for a moment, but a fool forever. So don't allow money to be your God.